Hi guys, welcome back to another video or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Dana and I am really excited to be taking you guys along with us for our evening routine. It's been a while since I've done an evening routine and this is the first time I've done it as a family of six. Kind of show you what it looks like for our family, what our rhythm kind of looks like as we flow into the evening. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So my evening routine, this for me typically starts around 3 30, 4 o'clock and this is my time of the day where I intentionally will spend that 30 to 45 minutes of doing a quick tidy up of the entire house, whether that be making a bed from an afternoon nap that the baby had, cleaning up toys that the kiddos are done playing with, a lot of the times I'll be putting away school stuff, getting the school stuff prepped for the next day. My goal for this half an hour to 45 minutes is really to reset the entire home to the point where after dinner, my only priority after dinner is going to be cleaning up from dinner <laughs> which takes from you know by the time dinner is served to when everything is cleaned up and kind of a close the kitchen for the night so to speak is a good hour process so I try to before I even start dinner and make that new mess try to clean up the entire house that way it's not even a priority or a focus after dinner after dinner we typically try to do like a children's hour where that full hour after dinner and everything has been cleaned up is really just devoted to the kiddos whether that be just hanging out with them playing games reading everything like that but i won't i wouldn't be able to do that without being really intentional with that three to four o'clock time here that i do try to use every single day i hope you guys enjoy getting a look at kind of what that looks like for me again a lot of it is just going to be tidying and cleaning up to get ready for dinner and then you'll also see kind of what we do what we do after dinner so a few things I don't put away on a nightly basis is this basket of baby toys. I leave that out in the living room since we always use those. And then the basket of magnet tiles. We play with these every single day, so I don't really feel the need to actually put them up and away because again, it's a used item. The other two things that I always have out is a Melissa and Doug lock barn and then the little Zany Zoo activity cube. Both of these are very, very well used in our home right now. And the things that I do leave out will rotate depending on what the kiddos are wanting to do. And then another most used item right now are the Lincoln Logs. My two oldest have been really into these lately, so this is another activity that I just keep out for them. And I like having this because it kind of creates that invitation for play for the little ones. So on this particular evening, my husband was working late, so I will typically put his plate in our kind of warmer drawer. That way when he gets home, it's nice and warm. He doesn't have to heat it up or get it out of the fridge. It just makes it really convenient. And this is one of my favorite things about our kitchen when we did it, was actually having a warmer drawer. So it's been a huge blessing and I utilize that quite often. <laughs> So by the time dinner has been completely cleaned up, we're reaching probably the seven o'clock hour now, and then we'll kind of roll straight into our bath time, getting ready for bed. We'll get jammies on, teeth brush, like all that fun stuff. And then we'll begin our actual just kind of hanging out together and our actual just relaxing eating routine. Leave everything to be true.
So typically around eight is when I like to quote unquote close the kitchen. This is a time where I ask the kiddos if they want any more last minute snacks. And then after that is all done, this is when I will clean out the kitchen sink. And then around eight, 8.30, I kind of turn off the kitchen lights and then it's just done for the day. I love doing that. And there's nothing like waking up to a clean kitchen with no dishes in the sink. It's one of my favorite things. And it's something that I try to just really, really be intentional about doing in the evening. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse into what at least this evening for us looked like. I appreciate you guys being here and until my next one, I hope you guys have a great day, whatever you're doing, and God bless. Bye. Could stop the time, don't you know that I would?